Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 7, sem 2, chapter 5, area of plane figures, review exercise. See now, find the missing value in the following tables and fill by using given hints. See the first one, they have given length 10 meters and breadth 5 meters. Now we shall find area of a rectangle and perimeter of a rectangle. We know area of a rectangle formula length into breadth that is L into B that equals to length 10 meters so 10 into breadth 5 meters so into 5 so 10 5s are 50 square meters therefore here area is 50 square meters. Let us see now perimeter of a rectangle. We know the formula 2 into length plus breadth. So that equals to 2 into L plus B. That equals to 2 into length 10 plus breadth 5 meters. So that equals to 2 into 10 plus 5, 15. That equals to 2 15s are 30 and units is meters. So here perimeter of rectangle answer is 30 meters. So let us write here 30 meters. See now second one they have given length 16 centimeter and area 80 square centimeter. We have to find breadth and perimeter of rectangle. We know area of rectangle formula that is length into breadth. But now we are having area and length by using this formula we shall find breadth. So breadth equals to area by length that equals to area is 80 square centimeter by length is 16 centimeter. Now let us do cancellation 80 by 16, 16 ones are 16, 16 fives are 80. So we get answer breadth is 5 centimeter. So let us write here 5 centimeter. Now we are having the length and breadth. So let us find perimeter of a rectangle 2 into length plus breadth. That equals to 2 into length is 16 centimeter plus breadth is 5 centimeter. That equals to 2 into 16 plus 5, 21. So multiply 2 into 21 that is 42 centimeter. So let us write here 42 centimeter. Therefore, perimeter of rectangle answer is here 42 cm. See now third one. They have given breadth 40 mm and perimeter as 440 mm. Now we have to find length and area. So first let us take perimeter of a rectangle formula 2 into length plus breadth. That implies perimeter of rectangle they have given 440 that equals to 2 into length that is 2L plus 2 into breadth that is 2 into breadth value is 40. That implies 2L equals to 440 minus 2 into 40, 80. So equal to after it becomes minus. So 440 minus 80. That implies L equals to 440 minus 80 that is 360. Here 2 is going to multiply on transposing it becomes divided by. So length equals to 360 by 2. So that equals to length value is 360 by 2 means 180 millimeter. So the length value we got here 180 millimeter. Now we had length and breadth values. Let us find area of rectangle that is length into breadth that equals to 180 into 40 that is 7200 square millimeter. So here answer is 7200 square millimeter. See now fourth one. They have given length 13 meters and perimeter 36 meters. Now we have to find breadth of rectangle and area of rectangle. See here perimeter they have given 36 that equals to we know perimeter of rectangle formula 2 into length plus breadth that is 2 times length plus 2 times breadth. So we have written 36 equal to 2 times length that is 2 into 13 plus 
2 times breadth that is 2B. That implies 2B equals to 36. Here 2 into 13 is 26. So this value on transposing it becomes minus. So 2B equals to 36 minus 26. That implies breadth B equals to 36 minus 26 is 10. Here 2 is going to multiply on transposing it becomes divided by. So B equals to 10 by 2. That equals to 2 table. 10 is 5 times. So breadth value we got here 5 meters. So write down here 5 meters. Therefore we had length 13 meters and breadth 5 meters. Let us find area of rectangle that is length into breadth. Multiply 13 into 5. That is 65 square meters. So write down here answer 65 square meters. See now, second question. Here they have given side. We have to find area of a square and perimeter of a square. Area of a square formula that is side into side that is S into S. That equals to here side they have given 40 centimeters. So let us multiply 40 into 40. That is 1600 square centimeter. Next, the perimeter of a square is 4 into side. That equals to 4 into side value 40. So, 4 into 40 that is 160 centimeter. Now, let us write in the given blanks. Area we got here 1600 square centimeter. And perimeter we got here 160 centimeter. See now second one. They have given area 81 square meters. Now we have to find side of a square and perimeter of a square. We know area of a square form last side into side. But here in our question we know area that is 81 square meter that equals to side into side, side square. So that implies S square equals to 81. That implies S equal to square root of 81. That equals to square root of 81 can be written as 9 into 9. That equals to square root of 9 into 9 means 9 square. Here square and square root were cancelled. So the answer is 9 meters. Therefore we got here side 9 meters. Now let us find perimeter of a square that is 4 into side. So write down here 4 into side value is 9. So 4 into 9 that is 36 meters. Therefore perimeter of a square is 36 meters. See now third one. Here they have given perimeter of a square 120 millimeter. Now we have to find side of a square and area of a square. Perimeter of a square, we know the formula 4 into side. That implies now we know perimeter of a square, we have to find side. So that implies side equals to perimeter by 4. Here 4 is going to multiply, on transposing it becomes divided by. So side equals to perimeter by 4. That equals to, they have given perimeter 120 millimeter. So 120 divided by 4. That equals to 4 table 30 times 120. So side we got answer as 30 millimeter. Now let us find area of a square. We know the formula area of a square is side into side. So that equals to 30 into 30. That equals to 30. 30 is a 900. Units square millimeter. So let us write in the blank. Area of a square is here. 900 square millimeter. See now third question. First one. Here they have given radius 7 centimeter. We need to find diameter of a circle and perimeter of a circle. Now let us find diameter. 2 into radius that equals to 2 into radius is 7 cm. So 2 into 7, 14 cm. So diameter of circle is here, 14 cm. See now perimeter formula is 2 pi r or pi d. 2 pi r. 
that is 2 into pi value is 22 by 7 into radius is 7. See here 7, 7 were cancelled. 2 into 22 that is 44 centimeter. So perimeter of circle is here 44 centimeter. Pi D means D means diameter. Diameter formula we know 2 times radius. So we can write perimeter of a circle formula either 2 pi r or pi d we can use. See now second one. They have given perimeter of a circle 132 centimeter. Now we have to find radius of a circle and diameter of a circle. We know perimeter of a circle formula 2 pi r. Given perimeter as 132 centimeter. So write down 132 that equals to 2 into pi value is 22 by 7 into radius r. Now we have to find r value. So r equals to 132 into here 2 into 22 means 44 by 7. On transposing this value becomes reciprocal that is 7 by 44. So r equals to 132 into 7 by 44. 44 ones are 44. 44 threes are 132. So r equals to multiply 3 into 7 that is 21 centimeter. Therefore, radius of circle here is 21 centimeter. Now, let us find its diameter that is 2 times radius. That equals to 2 into radius is 21 centimeter. Let us multiply 2 into 21 that is 42 centimeter. So, write down in the blank, it is 42 centimeter. See now third one, they have given diameter of a circle. Here there is correction needed. Here in our question in the textbook they have given as 44 millimeter. We need to correct it as 14 millimeter. Now we have to find radius and perimeter of a circle. We know diameter formula 2 times radius. Now we have to find radius. So that implies radius equal to diameter by 2. Here 2 is going to multiply. On transposing, it becomes divided by. So, radius equal to diameter by 2. That equals to diameter is 14 millimeter. So, write down 14 by 2. That equals to 2 table 14 is 7 times. So, radius we got here 7 millimeter. Now, let us find perimeter of a circle that is 2 pi r. That equals to 2 into pi value is 22 by 7 into radius we got here 7. Here 7 and 7 both were cancelled. Now let us multiply 2 into 22 that is 44 millimeter. Therefore perimeter of circle is here 44 millimeter. See now fourth question. They have given sides of a triangle. We have to find its perimeter. Observe this triangle. Here sides are given as A, B and C. We know perimeter of a triangle formula A plus B plus C that is sum of its three sides. So that equals to first one they have given as 3 cm, 4 cm and 5 cm. Now we are going to find perimeter of triangle that is sum of its three sides that is A plus B plus C that equals to 3 plus 4 plus 5. 3 plus 4 7, 7 plus 5 12 and the units are centimeters. So, perimeter of triangle for the first one answer is 12 cm. See now second one they have given sides of the triangle as 6 meters, 8 meters and 12 meters. Now we need to find perimeter of the triangle that is sum of its three sides A plus B plus C that equals to 6 meters plus 8 meters plus 12 meters. That equals to 6 plus 8, 14, 14 plus 12, 26 and units are meters. Therefore, perimeter of triangle for the second one answer is 26 meters. Today we have seen class 7, sem 2, chapter 5, area of plane figures review exercise. Today in this exercise we learnt area of rectangle and perimeter of a rectangle. Next area of a square and perimeter of a square. Next diameter and perimeter of a circle. And perimeter of a triangle formulas and how to solve them. 
Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.